many people, Catholic or not, are celebrating Fat Tuesday tonight. I'm having a brownie. That's right. It's a day to feast before the beginning of Lent. KTV 11's Heather Hinsey takes us to House of Bread. There, bakers stayed busy making traditional cakes. <laughs> House of Bread, this is Allie. Um, we're actually not taking orders anymore. They're on a first come, first serve basis. House of Bread bakers were sending king cakes out the door as fast as they could make them. We've made about a hundred, but we got another batch coming up because we keep getting people coming in and um, we're running out, <laughs> which is good. Good problem. The traditional treat is a sweet dough filled with cinnamon and sugar. Each batch takes three hours to make and the bakery will go through about 12 dozen. The frosting is just powdered sugar and water, and then I'm gonna twirl it on top. Owner Jenna Baldivez sprinkled on the finishing touch. Purple for justice, green for faith, and gold for power. And you do have to be quick with, with the sugar, or it's gonna harden up on you, and then it's not gonna stick. There's usually a toy baby hidden inside the cake, and whoever finds it will have good luck. This year, they're serving the baby on the side because some Alaskans don't understand the Creole custom. Last year, I did have a gal come into the bakery and um, she had the baby in her hand and she informed me that she found this in her bread and she wasn't too happy about it. House of Bread says it might be the only bakery in Anchorage making king cake this year. Customers were glad they could still find their Mardi Gras must-have sweet. I visited New Orleans and I got to experience the culture and so it's fun to bring a little piece of that back and to have a little New Orleans kind of fun here in town. And people see it on the sample board and they get so excited to see the colors and it's a sweet bread and they love it. It's a fun way to bring a little bit of Louisiana to the last frontier. Heather Hinsey, KTVA 11 News. Looks good. House of Bread says it went through a few hundred cakes this week. Bakers aren't sure if they'll have king cake on the menu tomorrow since the beginning of Lent means fasting, well, at least for Catholics.